be jealous. They, they will. will. They yeah. absolutely will. Uh, three things on the agenda real fast. Really? Uh, first of all, yeah, I got my NASCAR Nextel Cup Series phone. Yeah. That's bitching. And Monica said something like, you got to give me your two-way number. And I'm thinking. Don't do it. I'm not going. I'm not going. No. Yeah, the thing where you just talk to each other? Yeah. Don't do that. Are you insane? (laughs) And they gave me three months free, so I think every single day we could call Europe. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Because there's so many people for us to talk to in Europe. I know, but it's just when you get something free like that, you want to, like, totally screw them. I, the people that brought us lunch yesterday, does anybody remember their yes, name? Yes, Chipotle. They gave me probably 10 free burritos. I love Chipotle. In they, uh, you, uh, what do you call them, scavengers. My God, I got in there, all that was left was bean ones. Oh, man. And everybody ate a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I no, told them I, I couldn't stay, and I just wanted to say hi and thank you for lunch, and they gave me coupons. Yeah, that guy's nice. Yeah, and he listens to the show, and uh, we love Chipotle. It's our favorite. All right, uh, number two. Frodo has his, like, finals today, and he came in. I told you, man. He, the guy's dedicated. Frodo, come here. Frodo has his finals today, and I'm thinking, hey, dude, go home. Yeah. Take a nap. You study know, study hard. Study, right. What do you have your Crunch finals the in? books. I'm a dumbass. Why? They came here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's so many reasons why coming here is, is yeah. you know. <laughs> For we no all money? Are, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, so what do you have your finals in? Um... Film history and film with literature. You know what? The fact that it took you that long to answer on what your finals are on. I got two hours of sleep last night. Why? That's one for each final. (laughs) Why? Oh, because you're studying so much? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to go home and sleep. All right. Now, what's the first one? Uh, Film film history. Okay. Who directed Citizen Kane? Orson Welles. All right. Ask me anything. I know it all. No, don't really. Because I don't. Name three Fellini movies. Uh... Who? Fellini, that oh. annoying guy. <laughs> so far. By the way, anybody that can name a bu- anything beyond a La Dolce it's Vita. A beautiful yeah. whatever, or whatever that one. What was it? A Beautiful Life? Or... Oh, that's the Italian guy. Oh, what's so his Fellini, name? But... What was his name? That guy was pee uh, uh, Roberto Mussolini. Mussolini. You know what makes this really awesome? Yeah. Is that I have these both with the same teacher, and I hate him. Oh. Smart move on the radio right there. <laughs> hey, uh, Don? Don, Don oh, said I'm saying Chipotle wrong. Yeah. Chipotle. Wait, well, how do you say it? Chipotle. Chipotle. I, I just saw that Jack in the Box commercial. Miss Monica knows. Chipotle. 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 Oh, they should come up with an easier name. Yes, Chipotle. Especially if they serve margaritas, they should wake up up with an easier name. I don't think they do. Chipotle. No. Uh, they anyway, should. all right. So why do you hate your um, teacher? She's a bastard. Who is it? She's what? a bastard. Who is it's it? a he. His What's name his is name is Halloran. Oh, I didn't have to. I have where, where are you going to school? Uh, Cal State Northridge. Oh. So I hope he's listening. You bastard! Why do you hate him so much? Oh, he gave us so much work to do. I mean, but you obviously think he's fair. Uh, no. Well, you're going on the radio saying his name, what school, and calling him a bastard. <laughs> you must assume that if you and I'm taking him, his finals today. So I hope yeah, he's so you must assume if if you do well <laughs> after calling him a bastard at his place of bu- business by name. That he'll still give you a passing grade, or you're an idiot, pick one. Well, how about this? I'm an idiot. He's going to kill me today. My dad was a college professor. He failed my sister. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I can know. you believe Big Bob failed my sister? Yes, I actually, I can. Oh, oh my, my God. God. And she tried so hard, too. <laughs> and she failed, she failed, and Bob's, you know, especially, no, you know, he I worked so Bob hard. No, I think Bob was being a little too tough on my sister. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen with dads. Oh, my God. Anyway, all right, well, go home and study hard or go to sleep or something and uh, and just uh, do the best you can. Awesome. I'd pick C. Okay, C when, is always good. When you don't know, I go with C. When in doubt, pick C. Who uh-huh. said I don't know nothing about birth and no babies? In what movie? Oh, uh, God. You know, it's impossible for him I to know all that know. stuff. So, like, Everybody, know what movie? Maybe he has to know, like, Jack knew. Um, history and film, like, like uh, when was the first film actually shot? All right, what was the first film shot in America? And what, what millimeter of film? In America? Yeah. Oh, God. I don't know. I know it started, I started with the Lumerie Brothers and fans. Uh, no, I believe it was in Intolerance. You need a nap. I know. Yeah, go home. I need sleep. Yeah, go home. I might sleep good. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> What's the B in Cecil B. DeMille stand for? Shut up. <laughs> By the way. Yes. And we said nice things we about did. you. It made me uncomfortable. Yeah, me too. <laughs>
<laughs> now he's snorting white out to make sure we back you all the way to hell, oh, man. You're just sitting there snorting white this out. This is my Dan coping mechanism. <laughs> you know why it made me uncomfortable? Because, well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, nobody gets that we are funny mean to each other. Right. I think. It, does that make sense? Danny doesn't get that we're funny mean to each other. <laughs> He's always telling me to stop calling him stupid. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just the show. Let's just pick something else. <laughs> oh, now we have to come up with a different dumb word well, yes, for you? Yes, short. Call me short. All right, short ass. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> you can't pick what we call you. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I, it's just, it's like the meanest room, but it's not like, I mean, we're not really mean. Like, I mean, it's funny. It's like a jab, but it's also like a jab with a hug. Well, here's my theory. Yes. And I related to a friend I had growing up as a child. Okay. My friend had a really long. fat sister. Should I make a sandwich? And if you called her fat, he would be pissed off. But all he ever called her was fat, 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 fat. It's like, no, that's my sister. I can make fun of her, but don't you do it. No, see, I, <laughs> you know I, I get I mean? exactly what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> when I call you big, fat, and stupid. Yeah. And if somebody else calls you that, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Yeah, so I disagree too. Yeah. yeah. No. Because <laughs> I watched Jack call you that. But like no, homo. It's part of the, it's part Jack's of the room. really um, fond of calling you homo. And it doesn't doesn't bother me to watch him yeah. call well, you. Well, because homo. it's in the room. But I'm telling you, like, and I will call any of you anything awful. Oh, but if, like, let's say yeah. we walk out down the hall and Kevin Gabay from Promotions came up and started calling you names, yeah. I'd probably hit him. Yeah. Thank I'd you. be like, that's my stupid dumb ass. In the good <laughs> cornea or the transplanted cornea? God, I in feel the, better. In the transplant. <laughs> I feel better now. Yeah, the guy, I think it's called Got Your Back or something. Yeah, but Although, not in this room. I do think that we have a bad reputation, or I do. I'm not I'm sorry to include you guys. It's just, you know. You all right? I've been smoking the Dan cigarette, so he wouldn't. <laughs> That's you. how much I care. So I'm in the elevator, and I see our old boss who used to have, like, uh, I don't know, like 12 jobs, and then he kind of forgot about us, so then they said, here's 10 jobs, and one of them's not our radio station. Right, yeah. right. And uh, and so isn't it funny, too, how much you like people after they're not your boss? Always more. See? Yeah, yeah. You, you like like them a lot more when they're not your boss. Yeah. Well, uh, not what if I that? didn't. Not if I was thinking. Oh, my was God. <laughs> not if I didn't like them on a personal level, even when they were by my boss. Having them not be my boss will not make me like them. See, I like this guy way more now that he's not my boss. And yeah. uh, and I was on the elevator with him, and he said, how are you doing? I go, you know what? I'm really happy. I'm doing really good. My life seems like all in order. Everything's good. I don't have any drama. There's no, like, there's nothing like, oh, my God, everything is blown up. I said, I'm just steady and happy, and it's. It's great. You said all this in an elevator? Yeah, and you know what he said? That won't last and got <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, earlier this morning we were talking about some disease you had. I forgot what it was. What was the disease Dan had? Some kind of, I don't know, the pirate disease or whatever. Oh. Um, now, I want to know if you think, like, we all have our, our chronic thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean, like, marijuana chronic. I felt cool. I can't right believe. There. Yeah, I was gonna say I would never even think to call it chronic. I had an old partner that smoked a lot of pot and called it chronic. Yeah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> Is it the same old partner that cheats? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> we get all wasted and cheat. That's wrong. Well, usually you're not motivated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'd really like to cheat, but uh, if you could just get me a donut, it's cool. <laughs> I'd be happier. Anyway, um, so, I, like, I'm late. My thing is, like, no matter what, I don't know why, but I'm late. It's right. just a thing. It's my, uh, it's my, I don't know, what, what do you call it? My chronic thing. It's yeah. the thing. I'm late. That's it. That's my thing. I own it. I know I'm late. And then I have to plan not to be late. And then Robert dupes me and tells me something starts when it really starts at a different time. But that's okay, even though now I'm on to him. So then sometimes... You're still late. Uh, no, sometimes like I know that he's duped me. Right. So I'll go later, but then he really didn't dupe me. Oh, that's really <laughs> So you're like twice as late. So now I'm all confused. So that's my thing. Um, Yours, what is your See, like, my problem thing? there is I have too many. Oh. I have, don't you think? Yeah, but I mean, is there one that you constantly do? <laughs> I lock myself in my room. Okay, that's your thing. Yeah. You just get weird and like lock yourself in your uh -huh. room. Okay, and Jack, what's yours? Like on a, because don't you think everybody has a thing? Oh yeah. No, sure. What's yours? I'm obsessed about being on time. Okay. Like, oh, me oh, so too. is he. So right. is he. All right. Um. So, 
I'm worried that Monica, uh, I, she's not, you know, by any way, she's not stupid. But she's so forgetful that I don't know if it's a thing or if it's a, a disease. She could have a brain tumor. She doesn't know. Right, right. right. That's what I mean. Like me Which being... is weird because it's a misplaced nature's implant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, my being late, me being late is not, um, I'm not worried that maybe I have a tumor. Right. right. But she forgets stuff all the time. Like I mean, what? it's crazy. Well, for example, you know how um, I was going to let her borrow the uh, Cerritos Nissan? Right. Even though she didn't ask where I was just going to let her have it because she wrecked her car. Well, she left her lights on in her car. Right. So I had to tell her, and I was like, well. Well, then I, I know that my cat's going to be alone for the whole weekend, and I thought, wow, I wonder if Monica would come by and watch Clifford. But then I remember the last time she left all these avocados out for two weeks at my house, and they rotted, and when I came back, it was awful, and there were, like, you know, gnats, and it stunk. Yeah, nasty avocados are nasty. Because um, I said, somebody brought me all these avocados. Do you want them? And she goes, oh, my God, thanks, yeah. And I said, I'll put them in the bag for you. I'll put them right here. And then she left them, and they rotted for two weeks. Now, did somebody actually bring you avocados? Yeah. Because the reason I ask <laughs> is because avocados came to the station uh-huh. and stench hid them in everything I own. He did? Uh-huh. My ba- I had all sorts of things with me that particular day, and he hid avocados in all of them. So you had like an Easter egg hunt, but different? Except they were in the ja- my jacket pockets and my motorcycle bags and my backpack. And so they would have just rotted? They d- in my backpack, they did rot. I didn't find the w- the two in my backpack. See, that's on purpose. She just forgot. Ah. And she just totally forgot. And then I understand that she didn't go to Magic Mountain yesterday because she forgot. Her cell phone or something. And then she had to go home. And then by the time they got home, they just didn't want to put in the effort to get back in the car, I guess. Monica, can you come here? Wow, she's forgetful and lazy. Uh-huh, she forgets so to be motivated. But I mean, I'm worried like there's something like pressing on her brain stem that makes her forget. Hi, guys. Because you're not stupid. I mean, you're a smart girl. So, But there's like a, like my late thing isn't caused by a medical uh, abnormality, if you will. But there's something going on with your forgetfulness. I'm totally forgetful. I am. Have you always been? Always. Oh, that's Did not you good. forget to take the lightener out of your hair? No. What are you talking about? Dude, you're almost blonde. (laughs) No, you know what? This happened in my honeymoon, over my honeymoon, because I had my hair done the day before my wedding, Uh and then I left, and I spent 24 hours out. Okay, can we not do the avocado show or the hair show? (laughs) You got to pick one. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) We can be here all day. I'm forgetful. Danny's got ADD. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) We're just standing there all blonde. I know, but... We need to get her a CAT scan, like, now. I know, and stat. Chit-chatting. Jack, you could have said stat. That was the perfect time. Uh, I never use stat. I know, but you know how excited we are when we get to use it. We need a CAT scan. Avocado hair or stat. What we are we doing? CAT scan stat. Oh, it's too hard to say. Uh, anyway, you, like, there's something, like, something's pressing up. You should have told me you were forgetful before I hired you. <laughs> <laughs> she was going to, but she forgot. That doesn't really, like, say a whole lot when I, uh, Monica, can you do this? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, no. But you've always been forgetful. Yeah, always have been. And always have been. Since I was a kid, my mom would say, I can't believe you forgot that. I can't believe you forgot that. All the time. Because, see, it seemed to me if I was at somebody's house, like, you know, whatever, my girlfriend's house, what I'd do is I'd do the check around, you know, like you do at a hotel before you check out. Right. Like, I make sure I got all my stuff. I make sure I didn't leave any, like, dishes or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure. The check around. Like, you the, leave the, the house like, like it was when you got there. Right. Right. Well, she left a bunch of rotten avocados and a bunch of rotten food in the fridge. (laughs) And I do that. I do the, okay, checklist every time I'm going somewhere. And I'm not kidding you. I'll put something down and I'll say, I'm going to. But she remembered to bone Frank in my bed. I did not. (laughs) That's gross. No. It was the guest bedroom. I don't care. So I don't sleep in it. (laughs) No. No, we never did. I believe you. (laughs) Two young people sitting in a nice house, Santa Monica, Jason, or whatever the hell it is, yeah. and you didn't bone. Right. No, we, we didn't. Uh, we didn't. Swear to God. Okay. You're married now. You can admit it. Yeah, and the good no. news is, though, they're married, so they won't use my house for the bonage. Right. But still, there might be a rotten avocado and rotten food in my, in my fridge, but I'm I only gone for four days. Right. I can clean it up sooner before the gnats come. <laughs> but you know you do the once over you know like you said you like you look around you make sure you got everything and then oh, I 
She wrote to all the girls that were going to Wolfgang Puck. Right. The, what'd you call him in the letter? I skipped an F and it said Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> in the subject line. So it, it was sounds very like a knitting club. That's Welcome what, to the Wool Gang. That's what one of the girls said. She goes, I didn't know what she was talking about. It's something about Wool Gang. <laughs> she thought it was Rogang. <laughs> oh, she forgot. An F. An F. An F. I forgot an F. She that forgot was... a letter. How is it possible that you speak two languages? Oh. She forgot a letter. Oh, in that situation, it's better than adding an extra F somewhere, though. Uh, yeah, and losing a P. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God! Could we be more specific? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be bad. But she won't add anything. She'll just forget it. Yeah. <laughs> Monica, what do we do about this? I think we need a cat scan stat. Yeah. Because I'm tired so? of going really to Wolfgang so? Uck. Yeah, it's something crazy. I I think it's crazy too because I honestly have always been like this, and I have no idea. Why? I mean, yesterday you forgot your light. You forgot uh, that your lights were on. And then what happened last night with the keys or cell phone? We left for Magic Mountain, and we we're gonna meet Stench there. But I don't know his cell phone number, so it's in the memory of my cell phone. We were already on the freeway, and I said, "I don't have my cell phone. I forgot it. I left it at home." We had to turn you back around. You don't know Stench's phone number. No, I don't know. I don't know it by heart. I don't know his cell phone. And it's- do you really care if you met up with all, him? <laughs> all our cell no. phones are the same five numbers. And you end them in two different numbers. I just never even noticed. I programmed them all into the, my cell phone, and so a lot of people do that. I'm giving give her this one. Yeah. If all the cell phone numbers are the same, I, know the I still remember o- O'Malley's phone number. Yeah, I just know the first three numbers are the same. I don't know the other. Ones. Me either. All right. I, I think you're making it up. Nope. Because the first three numbers are the same. I've got first five numbers are the same. I don't think so. At least for me, it's stench. Well, maybe just you two, dumbass. <laughs> Shorty! And now, ladies and germs, what you've been waiting for. Just off a two-week stint at Helen's Trailer Park and Bar. Coming to you from Southern Illinois, where the Hoodals rape the chickens and no one cares. That's right, he kids because he loves... It's Bob White! Hey! Oh, it's a short break. Bob's oh, yeah. Oh, Bob's gonna freak. I know. Hello? Hey, we gotta go. I know. Oh, oh. We're on time this time. Oh, oh. Good morning. Hi, morning. Dad. Well, good morning, folks. Good morning to How you all. How are you? I am just fine. I'm happy beautiful. Memorial Day weekend, I guess. I know. If you it's say just, happy. It's an it's a overcast but nice uh, morning uh, out here where the hoot owls rape the chickens. And, and nobody cares. cares. That's right. That's the way it is. It is here in therapy. Well, very nice. Uh, we're going to call that uh, mule, uh, whatever, mule conference uh, here later Oh, on. okay. Your dad and, gave and me a number of a mule conference. Right on. Why is there an educational a... seminar? Yeah, educational seminar. So it's not a bunch of mules getting together and talking. No. Well, no, you, no. Uh, Francis knows about that. Yes, but, that's um, true. Francis the talking mule, mule. Yes. Sure. So you may You may be surprised uh, if you like horses when you find out how superior mules are in intelligence and riding qualities and all those good things. Weird. It's a much superior animal, yeah. Well, well we're going to find out here shortly, Dad. Yeah. Uh, we'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, well, we're a little, little, making a little progress out here in therapy land. Um, well, I, if, I understand that you have a new cookie lady. Well, yeah. Yeah, Bob's got yeah, a new cookie lady. Yeah, but... But at any rate, uh, in terms whoa, of whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going, Bob? <laughs> well, the cookie lady, she's just like a great cigarette lighter, you know. They both work. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, see, very that, nice. I like that. I yeah, like that. Uh huh. Keeps well, them lit. Yeah, that's for sure. But progress, we're making progress. The problem is here. your friends steal them. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the progress? Well, our our rotary dial phone. Yes. We're getting it uh, getting it worked over in our area here because you know right. Now it's such a small area; it only has one hole in the rotary dial. So um, they're gonna they're gonna put. They're gonna in... update that, are they? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we just got a uh, a cellular tower. Did really? you really? No, Dad, you guys did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Is it's... that what that thing is? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got cellular... does, it, does it look like a cellular tower? I didn't ever seen one before. Uh, yeah, it looks like one. They don't disguise them like because, they do. Yeah, here they disguise them. Did you know uh, some of the palm trees are fake and they're towers? But the one I didn't know, 
the crosses on top of a lot of churches. That seems wrong. Are towers. Are you serious? Yes, and they donate money to the church Direct in order to do it. Direct message to God. Uh, yes. That yes. beats praying a wallet back to life in church, I guess. Yeah, yep. yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> now, mom. Dad, uh, you know, I'm traveling um, for Memorial Day weekend, and they said yeah. it's going to be a zoo because of the yes, weather, too, in Southern Illinois is all... Yeah. Right, it is. It is. It's going to be a wacko. And people don't care that the gas prices are two dollars a gallon. They said they're going to drive anyway. Two dollars? Where are you shopping? Well, on average, like two seventy-five well, or something. Ours are up around a dollar ninety now. On average, across the United States, it's, it's two $2. bucks. Yeah. Yeah, ours is up around a dollar ninety, which is terrifying, you know. Everybody's got to get a tune-up first, I guess. That's right. Go to you know, Jiffy let Lube. You, let me tell you something about that. Down, you're going to talk about tune-up. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, they're finding out one of the ways to increase, like God, who's been thinking of this, is uh, to increase gas mileage, is to um, increase the air pressure in your tires. Right. And down at the little town of Goreville, there's a. Uh, in the whole county, we have one garage. Yeah. In downtown Goreville. And it's just operated by one guy, and he, he's a neat old fella. And we call him Oz, like the Wizard of Oz, just right. Oz, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, he came up with Danny that he was noting by putting more air pressure in the tires, yes, there was a, an increase in gas mileage. Right, sure. Because the tires were more firm. Absolutely. It's like but he, a also a noted, he also noticed as he was doing this, the tires would not crack and dry rot. So he got to messing around and, and, and letting the air out of the tires and filling them back up. And he was tripling the miles on a tire by rotating the air in the tires every time they came in for a loop job. He would deflate the tires and refill them because the heat of the tire breaks down the inside air and it, it turns all to an ozone basis and the, the tire starts severely cracking. So. He's saying you should rotate the air in your tires every time you go in for a lube job and triple your tire life. Isn't oh, that interesting? That is, that's fascinating. Yeah, it is. You know what's funny, Dad? What? Just like Danny believed you about those really cheap dogs last week. Yes. He believes you about rotating the air in your tires, too. If I'm a lion, <laughs> I'm a dying. I believe him. I totally believed him. Oh, great. Uh, oh. You don't change the airs in your tires? Pardon me? You don't. I'm telling Danny. What? You don't? No. You don't like deflate them and reflate them to For get what, some better s- air? I don't yeah. know because Bob said so. <laughs> That's right. You He's rotate the air your in the leg. tires. Tire lasts longer. Sure. <laughs> He's lying to you, Danny. Bob. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm just kind of giving you a little Southern Illinois folk history. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to go out and rotate the air in my tires. And It'll work. And guess what? Last week, the dogs. Yeah. yeah. Not true. Yes. Bob lied. <laughs> I know. No, Stitch, not not to you. No. Don't no, lie, Bob. Oh. Dude, I am crushed. Uh, oh, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a joke for Jack. Uh, I, Jack, I, Jack. I, yes. Hey, Jack, are you there? Yes. Say he's something there. to me. He said yes, Dad. Okay. He's busy looking at me with the words in his eyes that say dumbass. Oh. Uh, Jack, Jack got married too, not too long ago. Yeah. And I came across these little quotes. Marriage is a hangover the last a lifetime. Oh, that's, boom, boom, boom. that's kind and, of sad. And, and a wedding ring, that's the world's smallest handcuff. Oh, wow. It's like you know Jack and his marriage. Yeah. All right, Dad, we got to go, and Danny's really bumming. I'm, I'm well, before crushed. I, depart, I want to tell you all to live life, love life, live it to your full, because without it, you're dead. I like that. Oh, yeah, I, right see that. Yeah. I, I think that should be Bob's official sign off. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. care. I'm never speaking to the guy. Uh, <laughs> the German Shepherds is a lie. Uh, hugs and kisses, Danny. <laughs> yeah, I'll but you up. won't mean it when you kiss me. I know, but yes, what's really I funny? Yes, I do. It you're, was you're such sweet. a great snow job last week. Danny went in and ran in and called his wife and said, You got to oh, call Kentucky. Dude, no. Oh, I was Jesus. sending my friggin' wife to Kentucky, man, <laughs> for our vacation. <laughs> we got to get those dogs. We got to get those cheap dogs. Uh, Dogs. Uh, that's yeah. genius. I love Bob. Uh, I, I am mortified. <laughs> just rotate the air in your tires. You'll, you'll be all right, better. Danny. Yeah, it'll all work out. Yeah. Life is that way, as I said, live, love, and because without it, you're, you're dead. dead. Yay! Yeah, well, Everybody. sometimes that's preferable. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful, safe weekend. Thank okay? you, Dad. I'll see you soon. Fun time for all.
all, this is a big holiday for us, and it should mean a lot. Yeah, well, we well, asked Isabella if she knew what, what the meaning of Memorial daughter. Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, and yeah. she said it means you can wear white. <laughs> My daughter is a genius. Yes, she is. That's she didn't know you were a big, fat liar if you bought the tires of the dogs, just because yeah. I didn't know. Oh, Memorial Day, this, this is a big hoorah time. Yes. And most of you have no idea where it came from. The uh, veterans of foreign wars. It came, no. No. It came after the Civil War, and it was by General John A. Logan out of Carbondale, Illinois, I believe. He's the one who started that. Uh, you He's know lying what? He's lying. Lying. It was some guy named Steve <laughs> no. like three weeks ago. Culminated in General Logan giving his official proclamation in 1868. Thank you. <laughs> yep, got it right here in print, Bob. All right. <laughs> all right, we got to go. Love you, Dad. Okay, love you all. All because right. Be safe. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. Ha, ha. Those Maybe. guys rotate the air in their wagons? <laughs> yes. Ha, ha, ha. I'm crushed and I'm mortified. I'm going to tell you how to reclaim toothpicks. <laughs> oh, I love you. Reclaiming Lovely song in bag. That is just precious when you do that. I love that. That's my favorite part. Would you be mad if I flip your kid off? Hey, by the way, Jack, for uh, Tuesday when we come back, uh-huh. it's kind of going to be officially summer, so we'll need a whole new uh-huh. montage of summer, summer! summer loving. Had me some fun. Summer loving. Summer loving. Had me you get... I'm sorry? Oh, no. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, uh, here is uh, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. You're the first call of the day. Here we go. Yay! Hi, Hello. Brooke. You're the first call of the day. Isn't that terrific? That's wonderful. Well, congratulations. My God, my God. All right, what can we do for you? Um, I was just calling to defend Danny because I took traffic school a couple months ago and we learned about the air, pre- the air, the tires changing it out. Ha! No, you don't change it out. Well, that's, it was a question on our test, something about the air molecules, break, molecules breaking down the rubber and the tires. No, it, it's not true. You add air. But you can't really change it unless you're going to flatten all four tires and air That's back out. That's what I thought he meant. Do. They told us to take all the air out and refill it completely every three months or four months. I think they're lying to you. Yeah, they're all Bob White. They're they're lying to you. I think, well, it's, I one think, of those, it's... I think it's one of those stump questions on the on your test that you've went, okay. But doesn't your Hummer deflate and reflate if you want it to? Well, that's only to give you more traction while you're four-wheeling. Well, there's, see, there's reasons. That's only to give you more surface to grab on the rocks. Hey, there's a reason. That's fine with me. <laughs> no, it's it's not true, Brooke. Sorry. Well, all right, whatever. <laughs> Would you like to join the I Hate Bob White Club? <laughs> I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I believe him, too, so hey. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Don't hate on the Bob. <laughs> oh, I hate the Bob. You can't hate on the Bob. I'm hating the Bob. Here's Alex. Hi, Alex. Oh. Yo, what's up? Oh, hell, I, f- I hung up on the, the first one. Call call back, you get stuff. Yeah, sorry about that, sister. Anyway, uh, what can we do for you, Alex? That damn redneck song pisses me off. Well, why, why? is that? It's Mr. a great song. Boy. Are, are, the, are these people proud of being rednecks? Yes, it's, that's the point why? of the song. Why? Because they're just good old country folk uh, that are just, uh, they don't need a whole lot. Because they're not out here lying with they, their implants and sleeping with everybody else's <laughs> husband. <laughs> Proud of being the bunghole of society. Great. <laughs> it's they, true. They are the foundation of America, my friend. Yep. Can you can you try and find a new song? No. I no, see, the thing is, the thing is, is I turn I just want to piss you off because you're so damn bitchy. Yeah, like, I don't like you much. I'm not bitchy. You're a press. Yeah, they call me a bitch at work, too. See? No, you are. The, the problem is I turned on the radio, and I heard that song, and I thought you guys went country. Well, you no, know what's funny? Because I just started working early, and I, I never... I don't really think show, that you're so. supposed to love it. It's kind of a chick song. I love it. Here's to oh, all okay. my sisters keeping it country. Out there keeping it country. Let me get a Can big I hell get yeah. get a big hell yeah from the redneck girls <laughs> like me? Hell, hell yeah. yeah. So it's kind of a chick song, like a chick anthem. Like a, and you're kind of like a chick, so you should dig it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, shut up. You shut up. I bet you, you like beaches. Up. No, you shut up. No, you're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> this was bitching. Okay, I like him better now. I like you better now, Alex. Alex? Hey, I gotta go. Are you one of I'm them driving. there uh, homosexuals? No. No? Are you sure? You pissed me that I'm married. <laughs> to a man. Yeah, so is that one guy on Bravo. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I know people like you, the old fakers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm married. Your wife's just a beard, as we call it. <laughs> when did this happen? Yesterday.
Did you hear about share that? with the class? I feel like I watched the news and everything. I didn't hear about it. Yeah, tell them. The a lady came home from work and, and found her child, three elementary school kids in her house decapitated, and they say she was the mother of at least one of them. So, oh, they, and, and and they arrested a guy for questioning, and they say he's totally cooperating, and he had a like some kind of a beef with the family, mm-hmm. but he hasn't been charged or anything, so they have no idea if this guy did it or not. And it's supposed to be in like a nice neighborhood in Baltimore, Maryland. I cannot get my dog fast enough. And and the police and the firemen that arrived on the scene, they say freaked out and had to leave the scene. The police ended well, up yeah, having to go get a course. priest to bring back to do counseling on on firemen and policemen and family members because it was so gruesome. Wow, I didn't hear anything about that. That's awful. It's coming it's beyond to, yeah. awful. You know what? Just uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Except for that. you're kind of a jerk for yelling it out right before we get back to the fun and jolly no, show. It's, it's a story. <laughs> it's a story that came up and it's popping up more and more on the news this morning. The fun and jolly show. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> hey, everybody! It's the fun and jolly show. Well, it kind of fits after that slow song that I wanted to kill myself to. <laughs> like, woo, it's a crazy weekend. Actually, oh, you want to hear something sad? This is tragically sad. All right. You so, believed Bob about the tires? No, I knew better. I'm a wreck. I've been... Uh, Bobified. No, he told me that like when I was 16. I believed him then. But now that I'm 35, I know better. <laughs> anyway, listen. Um, I can't recover. This is awful, but it's weird. Okay, so you know their, um, their whatever, the, the new Vietnam uh, Memorial right. is going up. The big whatever uh, it is. V- uh, World War II. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for World War Two, and uh, and you know there's a big controversy because of the reflection pool and all that. And now it's moving, and and uh, they have like a sprinkler in the middle, and right. it does the whole thing. And there's like lights. No, there's not. It's not like the Bellagio. Hey, what was that thing? That, Hold on, that, let me finish. Well, no, the sprinkler in the middle. What was that thing that used to come up? A big yellow hat. <laughs> it was popular when the slip would say, "Ah, you got it now, right?" Have a little face on it. Yeah. 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 Is that a clown hat? Yeah, that's what's floated up on the beam of water. Now I can't finish. It's in the middle of the World War II memorial. That's just wrong. Anyway, let me ask you this question: What do you think they're more worried about? The fact that there's going to be over a hundred thousand Vietnam vets, okay, World War II Vietnam vets. Not World War Two. A hundred thousand. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. Hundred thousand World War Two vets. V- Vietnam vets, and that the youngest one is seventy six years old. Or are they more worried about uh, terrorism or the fact that it's going to be eighty nine degrees? The fact that it's going to be eighty nine degrees with a hundred thousand <laughs> over oh, seventy six years old, <laughs> and stents guessed about five are going to go down. Yeah, terrorists are going to show up and just turn on heaters. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, get your ass in here because I got the answer for your stupid little clown head with a sprinkler. You do? Yeah. Put your headphones on. Thank you. Sherry. Hi. Hi. Good morning. I just want to let Danny know what he was talking about. Yes, because at the at the dub at WW <laughs> at, WW the World, too. at the World War uh, Two uh, Memorial that that they're like uh, I don't know what do you that say? was the thing that stuck out right yeah and, and there's a thing now in the middle a right. fountain and Danny claims that it also you has said it was a sprinkler yeah and so what is it Sherry. The water wiggle. Dude, wrong. the water she's, wiggle. She's wrong. The water wiggle was a little body with these little arms that came no, out and went like that. She's right. No, no she's wrong. No, and she's I right. had one. This was a head that shot one stream of water up with a hat. I'll wiggle. find it on the internet. It's I'll not called right the water now. wiggle. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. I know. Are you guys fighting over a water wiggle? It's not called oh my the water. God. Would you like to join in? This wasn't a wiggle. The water wiggle had little tubes <laughs> that nope, came out. Wrong, wrong, wrong. She's no, right. <laughs> You're always wrong on this stuff. You know nothing about pop culture. All right, who wants culture? to be I'll right and not happy? How can Me. I not know anything about pop, pop culture? I am pop culture. That's Nuh-uh, all you, you know. always tell us you don't yeah, you know. You didn't have a trapper, trapper keeper. keeper. You didn't. Nope. Slip and slide. How to slip okay, and slide. Are you agreeing with me? I agree with you. I don't know okay. what Jack says you're wrong. It was I like, talked to Danny. There might have been a, another product out there, but the water wiggle was, it was just a, a clown little thing. yellow head. No, there yes. was like some kind of clown thing with right, dots. And it shot one stream of 
wiggle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was a hat with. And it was and water. And again, as I explained, the water wiggle had little tubes that came out and went more like and a spring bomb. Right. Oh, I know I'm right. <laughs> and the and the other one was a hat with different colored dots on it or something. Right. Shot if you jumped yeah. The hat would go I, up I, right. Jack, water wiggle. Not a water. No, I don't Why think it's. They call that a water wiggle. Water it doesn't wiggle. wiggle. I, I'm well, on the internet. I'll go on and find it, and then there'll be a big dumbass coming. <laughs> listen, if you if you go on and I am wrong, I will wholeheartedly apologize. But I believe Sherry, who I don't think is a dumbass. Sherry. I well, you know, it's early in the day yet. Yeah. I know Jack's kind of talking us into being afraid. I know. I'm afraid too for you guys. Yeah. Because you got a big dumbass coming your way. <laughs> and I will. You can either That'll call me a dumbass time. or accept oh. my apology, but not both. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. That's fair. Bye. Wow, you got it, it in like five times. Thank you, Sherry. Uh-huh. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, Sherry. Yes. You're uh, right. Uh, do you have kids there in the car with you? No, I don't. Oh yeah, me either. Uh, sorry <laughs> to bring that up. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend? This weekend we're having a barbecue and playing poker. Oh yeah. Right oh, very nice, Sherry. Well, enjoy yeah. your day or weekend. Well, thank you. You're All going right, to Saint Louis. I'm going to so what, ill. What you doing, Jack? Besides you. Cajun Festival. Cajun Festival. It looks like uh, Gretchen is going to cancel some plans that we had. Yeah. So I might go down to Temecula. That's a water wiggle. Yep. That's it. It's Uh-oh. not a clown. It's a head. Right. With hoses. This is a Yeah. Clown. It okay. shoots straight up. Uh-oh. I'll get you oh the clown with the hat this, is, uh, this proves <laughs> I'm right. This is not. This is just a hose thing that flaps. The clown one had a clown head with a beam of water that what, shot the what middle. What does that say? It's called. This is a water wiggle. This is he an agrees it. there is a water wiggle. Yeah, right, this that's is it. it. But he this said it has hose. hoses all over it. This is a hose thing. This isn't it. The that clown head with the water is shooting the water up. Water okay. shoots straight. Right, I think I'll you guys are it. talking about two different. Oh, things. I've got more. Yeah, go get the one with the clown. Yeah, head. no, look. The hose goes straight into it and it flies straight but up see, the they, and it wiggles around. The clown head has a beam of water that shoots up. Well, this is what I've been trying to describe as a water. That's not the clown head. I think you guys both played with different. I said it was yellow. I I think you played with different things. This is a water wiggle. I think you played with different things. Dude, did you get water wiggle off the internet? I just typed in water wiggle, and this is what came up. up. He didn't say it didn't exist. Right. He I said, said it was a clown. We're looking for a clown. Okay, right. you guys. I oh, never said clown. He said clown. All right, shut up. I said it was yellow head. Who cares? This is it. It's been found. Oh, my God, on your own time. This is my own time. No, it's not. Zip. <laughs> Half of mine. Right, making it our time. Zip it. Well, I don't want to be part of the water wiggle controversy. Well, then talk about something else while I fight with Jack about being so right. I am oh, right. I've got the evidence. You guys are bitches. How about 100,000 old people? Water wiggle. One spot. That is a water wiggle, but that's not it. Hold on. How can this be a water wiggle Denise, and not it? Look what, what I'm dealing with. Hey, guys. Hi, how are you? You hey, said clown head. head. I never oh said clown head. Oh, my God, they're just over here. No, I said yellow face. They're arguing like bitches. <laughs> fight! It's crazy. Okay, the water wiggle. I had one when I was a kid, and it had like a little cup on it, and right. the water used to squirt, and you used to get whacked by it. You could get yeah, hit. It, it really It would hurt. shoot straight up. It had no arms, no legs, no nothing. And it just went everywhere. Right. It right. went all over. That's did it all go all and over, it, or did it just go straight up? And no, it squiggled like a worm. Yeah, because it's You a, said straight up. He said wiggled. It well, goes it goes up, but it's Why am shaped. I getting involved? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I think that's great. But does it have any arms and or legs? I do not recall arms and legs. All I recall that it was like a hose with you a hose. You just said a water wiggle does all this. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But oh that's not god. the clown head oh thing. Oh my god. Jamie knows what I'm talking about. The I know clown. there is a clown. Right. You jumped yeah. through the beam of water. Yeah. The hat came up and down. Karen. Yes. Right here. Hi. Hi. How Welcome can you to say the that's water not wiggle controversy? Your World Wide Web. Danny. Yes. You're right. I know. Jack's an idiot. You didn't say anything about that. I don't think Jack is an idiot. I think Jack is just mistaken about this. I have the tape. I'll go back and listen to see if he said clown head, which he did. No, I said a little face. You put a clown head on it. Oh, my God, you guys are crazy. Like a jack-in-the-box thing. I didn't know what you were talking about. See, this is why couples get divorced, because everybody has to be right. I'm not leaving Jack over this. He's just wrong. I know. And everybody seems to know he's wrong with Jack. I'm just saying that... This is the moment that Dr. Phil talks about, is I'd rather be right than happy. But what do you do when you're just right and you have the documented proof? Should I just say like Jack's this. right? No, you go like this. Okay. Okay, Jack. I probably played with this. You know what? You I might have been wrong. You're that. absolutely right, Jack. What if arguing with Danny makes me happy, though? <laughs> yeah, kind of me, too. <laughs> yeah. about that? Yeah. I'd rather be right and wrestle Jack to the ground and be all happy. And can I just say one thing, too, which is uh, when a guy or a girl says, okay, that's fine. It doesn't help me. Because I'm so pissed off because I feel like I'm right, you know? And right. then they go, okay, you're right. I'm wrong. 
Like, if I, I said that. a trapper keeper actually trapped beavers, and, you know, I'd be wrong, right? I just made it up. This is a water wiggle, and it's right off the web. Right. So I'm right. Oh my God! He's Get, right. I, oh. Fine, he's right because okay. we were talking about oh, two different things. Yeah, thing I think we were. We're I've been about, saying that forever. Right. That's fine. I've been saying you because guys played with two different toys. No, but we said clown head. Right, he I said clown head. No, you said okay. clown head, and I agreed. Oh Sorry, Jesus Christ! Can't we all just get along? No, we can't. Right. The water wiggle was, was recalled to by the way. Oh. It was a dangerous toy, and it was recalled by the Whammo Corporation. Whammo. Don't get me started. Dude, did anybody else used to put razors in their Frisbees? No. Oh, God. Jim, hi. Jeez. Jim. Stick them through. Yes. Hi. How's it going? Oh, I'm kind of gripey now. <laughs> <laughs> if you must know. Anyway. Jack and I are all happy. Dude. Hey, hold on. There's some breaking news, though. I know you guys are happy, but can you get the breaking news, Jack? Now you see them there on the freeway. 710 and what, Danny? They're going to just get, him on, get in, in that ambulance as quickly as possible. and. Southbound 710. Sobering reminder to all of us, there were going to be plenty of vehicles on the freeways and the oh, highways this weekend. Uh, Transition to the reminder. 60. Take your time out there. Westbound, so it's closed. Plenty of time when you're on your way. Don't take these curves too fast because it no. can wow, be really dangerous. Wow, that guy just flipped well, over, much, Jack. Thomas. Just flew Bob over the damn over thing. The okay, oh, sorry about that. Because that was scary. I thought it was something. <laughs> Did you see where 60, slip and slide. 60 cars piled up in Florida? Nope. On some main stretch to somewhere good? <laughs> 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 Overnight, 60, or actually earlier this morning, 60 cars piled up. Uh, 20 of them were semi-trucks. And they said that, um, like, the you know, whatever, the emergency response people yeah. couldn't see each other two yards away, a yard away. And the fog, the fog right. was so, and that they were screaming at each other because they couldn't find any, like, where the stretchers were and, and oh. so forth. Oh. 60 cars. A lot of fatalities, or was everybody just kind um, of You know what? Uh, the last I heard, there was one critical and one uh, not Yeah, sweet. usually people don't die in those because they were going so slow to yeah. begin with. Yeah, it's just a mess. Anyway. Have you ever seen that bridge highway that goes like from one Florida Key to the next? It seems like I've, I've been only on seen it. it on the news. That's what I was going to ask. Have you been on that? Like a bridge Is it bitching? over trouble. Yeah. Is it awesome? Yeah. It's, I want to ride my motorcycle awesome. on that so bad because I don't think there's anywhere for cars to hi- cops to hide. What What's up with all the Diet Coke? Coke brought you Diet Coke and I, the new C2. What's C2? Something like a C2, but different. Yeah. What's C2? The new Coke. Whoa, Coca-Cola C2 rocks. It's cool. <laughs> all right, anyway, we got to yeah. let me, let me uh, Jim, what, what did you need? Hi. Well, I, had a, uh, I want to make a comment on the bowling pin. Yeah. Uh, back, you know, we said it was a uh, little to bring on the, on the airline. Yeah? yeah You're not allowed to bring a bowling pin on an airline, yes. <laughs> right. Well, it's, it's illegal to have in your car, too. Um, one of the first jobs I had was a pizza delivery guy. You need I, a new job? <laughs> What's that? Oh, Dan, you keep running the show. Hey, yes, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I was delivering a pizza. I put a bowling, there was extra bowling pins in the back, so I, I took one. I put it in the back of my car, and I had a hatchback. Anyway, I was driving. I got pulled over. The cop saw the bowling pin, and he wrote me a ticket for it. What? I, what's the charge? It, it is considered a weapon, and it's listed. Um, yeah, they actually specifically list bowling pin. Um, that's crazy. Can you guys believe that? No, that you can't seems... have a bowling pin in your car? I can see if you attach two of them with a chain and you have pin chucks. That's illegal. Yeah, yeah, and for a big guy. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but you know, my dad used to burn them. They're very toxic, but they're cool. They burn them for a long time. Just don't breathe the, uh, the stuff. Oh, God. I don't believe it. <laughs> it's true. I don't care because it came from Bob. <laughs> Everyone's starting fights. No, you know what? I don't even want to talk to you because you just got on my nerves so bad. Me? No. I jacked her hard. <laughs> wow. Can you do that for me? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was funny. Only for my amusement. So I'm trying to get a phone number, right, for the Mule Education Seminar? Yeah. And it's a very long message. And he comes in there, starts just talking really loud. <laughs> right? Did you see that website? <laughs> oh. I had to call the, all the numbers and get it all again. Stench loud. I don't believe you. And I laugh. Anyway, what's going on with you two? Nothing. I just burst into another radio station and started screaming. Who's? And they didn't like Lopez. it. It didn't go over well. Lopez dug it. Lopez loves me. Yeah. Did Lopez hate it? No, Lopez loved it. He laughed, and the other three people on the show were cursing and swearing as he came back down the hallway. People hate you, Dan. Yeah. They left their door open. Their fault. 
I only go into the tuna when he invites me. <laughs> but open door policy. Open oh, door, you kidding there? All right, oh. so busting I, out the freshest jams. I'm assuming that off the air, y'all. Uh, well, here's what we were talking about, yeah. Jack. No, I know. That's what we are talking about. Right, the fun fountain. Not right. the water wiggle. Right. The fun fountain. Which is a clown head that you right. Have to right. 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 Up in the air. right. I had that. Yeah. So did I. That's a fun fountain. Right. Right. Mine's a water wiggle. When you said a clown head that shoots straight up in the air, that's a better description of that. Yeah, that's a fun fountain. Oh, my God. No uh, one wants to be happy or I, right. I just agreed with clown head. I never said it's a clown head. I agreed with Jack who so said it's a clown head. you agreed for no apparent reason? You didn't have that. Well, I mean, you could describe that as a clown head. You know, it looks like it. a ghost to me. It actually looks kind of like a ghost to me. All right. Well, that's not a clown. But see, I'm also agreeing with you. Well, okay. I mean, a ghost is not a clown. Didn't a clown just die? It could be a, a clown ghost. I don't know. Let's call a mule seminar. Why not? I'd rather be stupid than happy. <laughs> uh, oh, all these poor people. Hey, we got the clown head yeah. info. Thank you. Danae? Yes. Yeah, did you hear we solved it? Yeah, thank you. Well, yeah. you know what? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Don't you feel like that whole thing was like a waste of our time? You know, it, yes, it was. But as a kid, my parents, my parents were never mean parents. When we got in trouble, my mom would always make us go outside and play in the fun fountain. And <laughs> it was it was the funniest thing. And oh, That was your punishment? That was our punishment. We would go, my mom would go, gosh, I'm playing in the fun fountain. You know, that was, I didn't grow up in a terrible home. but You know what, though? Like, you know what's funny? I bet, par- I bet parents these days don't say this. In or out, in or out. No. Exactly. You know, because it's always just in. They're just inside, but. God, they are. My mom used to yell it all day. In or out, in or out. <laughs> the flies are coming in. <laughs> You're letting all the cold out. Yeah, letting all the cold out. That was the other one. Uh, all right, no, today. We, that was our punishment. <laughs> oh, well, that doesn't sound like punishment. Your no, it really wasn't. It yeah. really wasn't. I had a great, great childhood. I mean, <laughs> punishment is. <laughs> See, so who was right in your opinion? Um, neither of them were because it was a pointless argument. I love you. I Thank love you. you. That is awesome. <laughs> Hold on. I, can okay. I love her. Jack, she's right. No, no. Yes. Because oh, let's assume she's right that it was pointless. Neither Jack nor I had to dial and or be on, put on hold. Okay. So if it was pointless, she was pointless with action. I'm sorry. Did you just have a list? Because yes. that sounded retarded. Yes, I did. Actually, what we've had here is a uh, syllabium, a syllab- you know, two points with one conclusion. What's that called? A... I don't know. We didn't have that. I was right. I saw it on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire.